Oh my goodness, Guido, I think it's happened again. Of course. Siren Head. Again. He really needs to get better hobbies. Agreed, Guido. How can you destroy a city like 20 times in a row and not get bored? I guess what I'm most concerned with is how does this keep happening? We've seen it happen a lot. Interdimensional entities bleeding into other creatures. And I fear we will never get an answer. Hello, Steve. It's nice to see you again. <gasps> Misa! I thought we'd got rid of you. Banished you to the other side of the multiverse. Oh, you did, Steve. I just had another plan. We ancients always have a plan. So, you must be wondering why dimensions are bleeding into each other. Uh, actually, I'm wondering where you got that cool turtleneck from. It's not a turtleneck. And my mother knitted it for me. As the only mortal to ever use the checkpoint to travel through the multiverse, you have caused... The dimension collapse. You have fractured the multiverse, leaving cracks in space-time. Some would see it as damage. I see it as a pathway. And I've used those pathways to send creatures from one dimension into another. Myself and the rest of the ancients are going to enjoy feeding on the collapsed energy. Oh. He always had a way with words, Guido. Huh? Someone said something? I wasn't paying attention. Well, Guido, you better go ahead and pay attention right now because Misa has returned. He is the reason why Siren Head, Cartoon Cat, Ice Cream Piggy, he is the reason why all of those individuals are, excuse me, I need this car, are moving through into other dimensions. He is the entire reason why Siren Head keeps invading this place. By destroying dimensions, he and his legion of ancients can then feed on the collapse energy, oh, a little crash there, and cause the end of the multiverse. Oh, I'm not sure about all of this, Steve. Maybe we shouldn't be messing with Misa. He's a pretty tough guy. Yeah, a tough guy in a turtleneck. Adventurers, if you want to see us face off against Misa and destroy that turtleneck wearing freak, then go ahead and leave a like in three, two, one now. We need all of your support if we are to save this dimension and the rest of the multiverse for Misa and the Ancients. All right, Guido, so I've got a plan. Listen to me here. We know for a fact now that Siren Head is being sent through a rift in the multiverse. Well, if he could enter that way, what's to stop him from going back? Ah, uh, yes, Steve. I'll just Google how to open an interdimensional rift. What are we going to do? Don't worry, buddy. I've got a plan. It may be a stupid idea, but here it goes. All right, buddy. As I said, this is a really stupid idea. Whoa, Steve, you know I'm afraid of heights. I know this, and you know what I'm more scared of? Getting hit by a plane. Look how low those things are flying. Okay, so what we have here is a giant ramp. I've also managed to assemble a large variety of vehicles here to perform the stunt with. We are going to go soaring down this ramp, hopefully above the head of Siren Head, and the speed and velocity of which we are moving should hopefully rip a hole in space-time, sending Siren Head back through. All right, so as I said, I'm taking each one of these vehicles, maybe not all of them, but some of them down the ramp. And the first one I want to take is this bike. You know, if I don't have to release deadly gas into the air to defeat Siren Head, that would be great. We're doing the eco-friendly way here. I don't even know if these speed boosts are going to be able to affect me. Uh, oh my gosh, they certainly do. Okay, I have no idea how much air we're going to get from this, but this is going to be a really interesting idea and probably a terrible one. I I am literally biking as fast as I can down this pipeline. I'm hoping that these speed boosts and the sheer height and speed of my BMX will be able to send us flying above Siren Head. Of course, it could go absolutely terribly, but I'm going for it. Look at all these speed boosts. And here we go. And Geronimo. Oh my gosh, we cleared Siren Head's well, head, but now we are just flying down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I probably should have thought this one through. How on earth are we going to land this? Okay, just keep our bicycle flat and oh my gosh, I'm the best. Woo! That was awesome. Let's do it again. All right, next, Guido, I am going to be taking this bad boy, the rusty tractor, and we are going to... Oh, look how high that plane is. Look how low he is to this ramp. We are going to be taking this down the ramp and judging by its speed... Oh, 
Oh, how close was that thing? Judging by its speed, I don't really have high hopes, but we're gonna be trying this thing out. Have you ever seen something as ridiculous as this? Oh, slowly but surely, we are picking up speed. I can't wait to see us hit that multi-speed boost. That's gonna be absolutely amazing. I hope Misa's watching this in fear. He should be shivering at my might. Here we go. Oh my goodness, and here's the ramp. How high are we gonna go? We are gonna go soaring through the air over... <laughs> over Siren Head's head, and we are soaring down to the ground once again. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, now once again, we have to land on our wheels. Come on, control it, and oh my gosh. Oh, I think I just got whiplash. Did I just hit someone? I don't think I did. Hey, baby, how are you doing? You impressed? All right, buddy, now it's time for something with a little bit more firepower. Let's go ahead and grab this bike right here. Um, did that just duplicate, or was that just me? Okay, there we go. Nice. So we're going to be taking this thing over the ramp now. And I fully expect this guy to go super quick. Look how fast this guy is. Oh my gosh. Whew, it's so fast. All right, here we go. We are going to launch ourselves directly over Siren Head's head. So far, we haven't managed to hit the full speed, but I feel like now this may be fast enough to cause that tear in time and space and the multiverse it's itself. Here we go. Whoa. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, we just absolutely launched ourselves there. Look at that. Can we land on the maze bank? Let's try and land on the maze bank building. Oh, we're not going to be close enough. Okay, I'm going to try ride down it if I can. Here we go. Uh, all is well. All is well. Let's just parachute. Oh gosh, I hit my head on the side. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, that wasn't my finest moment. But anyway, that bike was super fast. I think now we have to try something different. We haven't tried one of these rally cars yet. Like, specifically this one. This is a real hot rod, and I think this is going to be uh, one of the fastest we can take. So let's go ahead and take this thing. I believe this is actually made purely for racing. And if this thing doesn't cause a rift in time and space, then I don't know what will. Once again, we are soaring down. We are hitting all the boosts. And here we go. Whee! Oh my gosh. See you later, Siren Head. We just launched over him. We're not going as far as we did with the bike. So that's something to bear in mind. But we are still going mighty far here. Now we just have to make sure that we survive. That's the only thing we can focus on now. So let's try and land on all four wheels. And we did. Oh my gosh. Look at the bump left in the car. Oh, well, that was pretty good. But it still wasn't the fastest we could potentially go. Now we move on to these supercars. Look at these things. Okay, which one is going? to be the fastest. I'm judging which one is fastest purely by how cool they look. Maybe this one right at the end. Yeah, let's go for this one. This is a, uh, I don't know what this car is actually, but uh, it looks pretty fast. Oh my gosh, look at this tire spin here. Okay, we've got a direct line on this thing. Let's go straight down just like this. I actually feel like so far, maybe the bike was the fastest. Maybe the, the bike is like the fastest we're ever gonna go. We may have to try that one again, Guido. All right, we are just whizzing down this ramp once more, ready to hit another one of our biggest stunts yet. And... Ooh, oh my goodness. I should probably stop uh, spinning in the air as well. It's going to cause some crazy air turbulence, but we are soaring down and again, I don't think we've gone as far as the bike yet. Oh geez, I'm not going to land on all four wheels. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm fine. I'm, I'm a okay. All right, well, I guess it's time for us to hop onto one of the super bikes yet again. Maybe this one right at the back. I don't think we've tried this one. It looks a little bit, what the heck? It looks a little bit chunkier than the other one. So I'm hoping that this one isn't going to be slower. Let's just see here. Oh no, this thing is fast. This thing is real fast. We've just got to make sure that we're, oh boy. Okay, this could be it, Guido. This could be what we need to send Siren Head packing. We've been at this all day, trying to desperately get the speed we need to send him packing. Could this be happening right now? Let's do this. Let's get him out of this dimension and... Oh my gosh, Guido, it worked. It actually worked. Siren Head is gone. Now can I just land this and... Oh gosh, I can get impaled by a tree. Well, Guido, we did it. We managed to take down Siren Head yet again. And yet... I don't think the entirety of our focus should be on that. Yeah, yeah, it should be on you, the hero. No, no, Guido, not even that. I don't want any of the attention. Well, maybe like 65%, 70%. 
Okay, 90% of the attention should be on me, but 10% should be on the fact that Misa has returned. He mocks us from an undisclosed dimension, but it's clear that he's watching our every move. We should definitely keep an eye on it, Guido. But know this, Misa, if you're watching this, tucked up in bed on your iPad. As long as this multiverse is threatened by individuals like you, myself and Guido will be around to defend it.